Everybody out there throwing a hissy fit over leveling rakes. Uh, perhaps it's time you consider another piece of equipment to level your lawn. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Budget Lawns. I appreciate you joining me. The old lawn laboratory here is... Um, Pretty much boxed up because we're getting ready to move to the new house here pretty soon but i got a couple things laid out on the driveway there that we're going to talk about today on this episode if you got bermuda grass or warm season grass look your lawn leveling season is pretty much behind you now but a lot of you cool season folks may be ready to throw the sand down and get that lawn nice and tabletop smooth and you're wondering what equipment should I use so if you're here for like the steps of leveling your lawn I got you covered there too I'm gonna leave a, a video linked down below I'm gonna also show you a piece of equipment that I made myself my own lawn leveling rake and I'm gonna leave you a step-by-step -step guide to make one for yourself down below as well so you'll get all the details you need on making your own rake or leveling your lawn step by step from those two videos. But as I mentioned off the top, everybody needs to get their panties out of, bunch, out of the bunch over lawn leveling rakes, okay? And a lot of you folks need to quit putting so much stock into what people say here on YouTube about what you should be doing, how you should be using it, and what you should be using. I don't claim to ever be an expert here. I merely just give you my experiences about my time in the lawn. Hence, that's why I have zero, and when I say zero, I mean it, zero affiliate links. I'm not here to make money off you like a lot of other folks are. I think when you wake up and realize that you as an audience are being bought and sold for somebody else's financial gain, then you might not look at YouTube quite the way you always have. I know a little bit about this. Look up Dallas Smythe's Audience Commodity Theory and think about it. Okay. Lawn leveling rakes. Everybody's whining about them. I'm going to show you mine. It's not flimsy, it's not uh, popular, it's not well known, it's not uh, causing any fights, but it's the one I've got, and I like it. And I made it all myself for about 60 bucks from simple items that I bought at Lowe's. And here it is. Look at it. Kind of looks... Uh, a little peculiar, wouldn't you say? Doesn't look like a lot of the other ones you've seen online. I got a big gas pipe as the handle. Uh, these are like some rebar stakes. I don't even know. I don't even know what half of that stuff is. But guess what? I put it all together, and I used it, and I liked it, and it worked, and that's all that matters. Now, do I think that it's the best? tool to use for leveling your lawn in some circumstances maybe maybe some of the smaller spots you know between your sidewalk and the curb maybe up around the house where it's tough to get this other tool into that we're going to talk about in just a second so yeah i like it i think the leveling rake that i made serves a great purpose for those smaller nooks and crannies but is it my tool of choice for leveling the larger spots of my lawn? Absolutely not. Do I think there are better options? Of course I do. Now a lot of folks you may have seen online will build their own big drags out of steel or whatever it is and they'll pull it behind lawn mowers, they'll pull it by ATVs, whatever equipment they have to make that job easier. Look, I don't have a lawn big enough for that, although I will say that is the route to go if you have a lot of space but if you don't have a lot of space like I do but you just don't have a tiny lawn either 
then I prefer to use a drag mat. I think this is a four by three drag mat. You see these being pulled around baseball fields to drag the dirt and smooth things out. I got this off Facebook Marketplace, brand new for like 30 bucks. Granted, you're not gonna score one quite like that very often. I was just in the right place at the right time. But this is my preferred method to drag sand around the bigger spots of my lawn. The way this works, pull it by the handle behind me, drag it around in all different directions until the sand has worked into the canopy as good as I want it. Is there a downside of this? Absolutely. Can you walk standing up and have all of this surface area on the ground? No, you cannot. I have to put something here towards the end of it to weight that down and get a better drag. But I think too often, too many of y'all in lawn care are expecting everything to just be absolutely perfect and work beyond reason and your expectations I hate to tell you, are never going to be met. The only way to have a nice lawn, get your butt out there, start putting in the work, because what you're not hearing here on YouTube enough is all these people you see with super, super nice lawns, there's something they're putting in that you're not. They're not putting in products, they're not putting in tools, they're not putting in anything else you can think of, they're putting in time, so if you want nice grass, quit making excuses, quit expecting miracles, and go put in the time, mow a lot, water properly, fertilize regularly, and control your weeds, and guess what? It doesn't matter what tools you use to level, what lawn mower, granted a reel does work better, what edger, string trimmer, whatever it may be, doesn't matter what it is, you put in the time and you'll accomplish your goals that's where I'm stopping, right there, before I keep going and some of you throw a fit. We'll see you next time here on Budget Lawns.